Hello YouTube, this is I Love 1994 here again today, back again with another video. So today's just been a usual day. I was just chilling and hanging out as you can see. You know, just a typical day. You know, I was drinking this Pepsi earlier and I was just, you know, chilling on my computer. And it's a pretty boring and bland day outside. The sky is gray. And uh, yeah, I'm just chilling here at home. But I guess that's off topic for today's video. Uh, today, it's not really a review, but necessarily, or a vlog. I just wanna, I just came on camera today because I just wanna show you guys in this, here, I'll just move this out of the way. In this bag right here, I wanna show you guys what I got for Easter. My mom just gave me this bag, which has my Easter basket inside, and it has all the stuff that I didn't, you know, get on actual Easter, which was March 27th, which I was actually surprised that Mar uh, Easter was, you know, early this year. But, so I got it the day after. And uh, this is actually my first time coming on camera in a very long time to actually show shit that I've gotten for like holidays. So I'm gonna pull the shit pull the shit out one by one and show you what I've gotten. I mean except for these which are irrelevant. These are just uh, wipes that my dad gave me to clean off my computer. So fuck these. These are really irrelevant. Uh, the first thing here is also, um, I finally got, the first thing I got here in my Easter basket was, uh, Space Jam on DVD, uh, sealed and everything. I, uh, everybody, uh, for those who have been around my channel since the beginning, you probably remember I did a review on Space, on this movie back in 2011 when I reviewed the uh, VHS tape of the film that I have, which was also my original childhood copy. And uh, I still have that, by the way, and I, I believe when I was collecting VHS tapes back in the day, which I still do on occasion, but not much as I used, not as much as I used to, because again, in those days when I was uh, spending a lot of money on, uh, I, I was spending a lot of money on the uh, VHS tapes and uh yeah a lot of money basically went to waste but it was a good hobby and it you know it kept me busy so now that i have this dvd copy of the film which was an, it's another childhood <laughs> movie added to my collection and here's the back here's the spine and here's the front and so yeah i'm basically thinking about now that i have this i'm basically thinking about doing a Re re review of the um movie with this uh, showing off this DVD copy later on. So that'll be coming in an up uh, in another upcoming video once I recharge my camera. And uh, so stick around for that, you guys. And I'll also in that video, I'll also be opening this as well. So yeah, stick around for that. And uh, I'll go into more detail about that. Uh, other video in that in the upcoming video as well So let's move on here. We also got some candy like I got Kit Kat Which uh, is a one of my favorite chocolates I got this M&M's Easter Bunny chocolate bar Here's the back the nutrition facts or whatever the fuck those are and they got uh, this thing or whatever uh, yeah I've always really liked these uh, these are very uh, act very delicious but they're actually pretty fucking messy if you ask me and then we have uh, Reese's uh, chocolate egg you know I eat these every Easter so of course and I go I always get them every Easter so of course I'm gonna eat them Here's another Reese's egg. Of course, there's always more than one. Of. And then we have uh, something that I haven't seen in a really long time. I actually never expected to see this again. I believe this uh, came out in 2000. 
2004, 2005, 2006. I don't know, somewhere around that time. This was this this was around in the mid to late 2000s, early 10s, and then it disappeared just randomly out of the blue, and I haven't seen it for a while. But it still popped up. It still pops up from time to time, but it's been a, a very long time since I haven't seen it. It's the M&M's uh, M Amazing Chocolate Bar. And when I saw this in my Easter basket, I was like, and yeah, you can meet by me wobbling it. Yes, it's fu it's fucking falling apart. So I'm not going to open it and, you know, show you because if you just like break in pieces and be like, wow. So it's wobbly because it's falling apart. But it's, uh, I haven't seen this in a really long time. So when I saw this in my Easter basket, I was like, holy crap. It's, I, ha I haven't seen this in forever. I've got to eat this. There's the back. So yeah, I'm actually glad to see this again. Am I as hyped about this as uh, I was when the crispy M&Ms came back? Eh, I don't know. It wasn't that long ago when this disappeared, but so it just basically appeared in my Easter basket randomly on the blue. So uh, yeah, but I mean, it's weird, but at the same time, it's kind of cool. So I'll be looking forward to eating that. And then the last uh, two things here, yeah, and then the, the last two things here are what I wanted to show and save the you basically save the best for last. So according to uh, if you do the math here, M and M's have been around since what not the 40s, 1940, 1941. I believe they've been according to these packages they've been celebrating 75 years, and they have. They brought and uh, they went to uh, um, my family went to some type of a store. I don't know its name off the top of my head, so I'm I'm sorry if my family's watching this video when I forget its name, but of the store that they went to and got these from. But they found packages of M and M's that look freaking retro. They're now keep now keep this in mind, viewers and fans. These are not from the actual A's or 70s or 90s. These are not packages that are originally factory sealed from those decades, and then they're all rotten and disgusting. No, these are throwbacks, like the Pepsi throwback and the Mountain Dew throwback. These are like that. These are th like this. This is celebrating 75 years. Uh, and, and then it says, uh, where does it say that? Oh, yeah, in the little blue down there, 1980s. And then we have peanut one as well with the same thing. These are retro packages. But I'm thinking at the same time, okay, so this is what they look like in the 1980s, but at the same time, in the 80s or the early 90s when I was a kid, you know, when I was growing up, the, the packages look like this but they didn't have the characters on the bag. And uh, and then when, in the 80s, you know, Red was taken away until 86 because of the whole cancer epidemic. Red, uh, red dye or red food coloring causes uh, cancer or some shit. You know, so if they're trying to throw it back to the 80s, you know, I don't think red should be in the packaging unless they're doing the, like 1986 onwards here with these packages. I don't know. Also, there shouldn't be blue. Also, there shouldn't be blue because uh, blue didn't exist until 1995. I remember when that happened. There should be tan. I know. Maybe that's just uh, my nostalgia, t nostalgia tardiness showing off, and you know me being nostalgic and all that, but. <sighs> I don't know because you know I remember when M&Ms used to be like that back in the day. I don't know, but and you know they're not exactly one gonna 100%. You know, go out full blowing nostalgia. They're just making the packages to look old, and I understand that. So it is what it is. But either way, it's cool, and I'm actually glad to have these. Uh, I'm also going to create a thread on the 4chan uh, uh, 
food board and it's ask them what they think about these packages you know see if anybody else is seeing these see what they think I also probably take a picture of these and post them on my Facebook page see if any, if any of the fans are not watching this video if they are you know they can see the pictures on Facebook so anyways that's what I got for Easter and I just wanted to show you guys really quick so yeah that's about it and uh, I'm gonna get back to enjoying my afternoon uh, all right I guess I'll see you guys later that is it and uh, y'all take care and have a good day I shall return with more videos soon please subscribe if fan uh, take care and have a good day bye for now YouTube